Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What the Funk. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a non-fungible or NFT token. You're also going to want to stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to be giving away my very own non-fungible token to some very lucky subscribers. First, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe and click that notification icon so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. Most tokens you may have encountered on Ethereum are considered to be fungible tokens, which means they can be traded back and forth with each other because they are all exactly the same. One Ethereum is the same as any other. One chain link is the same as any other chain link, etc. An NFT or non-fungible token is a token that is unique. It's not the same as any other token. Whenever you mint a non-fungible token, that token is the only version of that token that will ever exist. NFTs are becoming more and more popular in the blockchain space. Why is this? It's simple because people have realized that NFTs are a way to represent rare digital items. Much like action figures, baseball cards, and comic books can be rare items in the real world, NFTs are showing the same utility in the digital world. On Ethereum, most fungible tokens are coded using the ERC-20 token standard. NFTs on Ethereum have their own standard as well. This is the ERC721 standard. Much like ERC20, ERC721 is widely used, open, and very easy to implement. Let's have a look at it. So the ERC721 standard can be found on an actual website called erc721.org. It's got a very thorough explanation. It'll explain what ERC20s are, what ERC721s are, how they differ, and then go through all the different methods that exist on an ERC-721 smart contract. You can see a lot of these methods are very similar to what an ERC-20 is. You've got your transfer, your safe transfer, approve, approve all. And basically all of these methods just give the user the ability to interact with their NFTs and also trade them um, with other people. You'll also see a few interfaces defined, including ERC-165, which defines an interface for querying which methods a smart contract supports. Also an ERC-721 token receiver for smart contracts that actually receive ERC-721 tokens. With this information and some help from Open Zeppelin, we can start building our own NFT. First install Open Zeppelin contracts with NPM or YARN. Then set our Solidity version and enable API Encoder version 2. Import Odinable and ERC721 from Open Zeppelin. Create our contract and inherit from those two contracts. Next, create a variable to keep track of the token ID every time we create a new NFT token. We create a constructor to set the name, symbol, and the base URI for our token. Next, create a method to set the base URI if we need to change it in the future. Create a minting function to mint our new tokens. This sets the base URI and also increments the current token ID. We also create a batch mint function to mint many tokens at once. We create a function to get the next token ID whenever we want to mint a new token. And finally, an incrementer function to increment the ID every time we've created a new token. And that's it. That's how you create an NFT using Open Zeppelin and a few lines of code. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will be giving away some NFTs. I went ahead and deployed this code to mainnet and minted at a limited edition What the Funk NFT. There will only ever be 10 to be exact. I will be giving away seven of them. All you have to do to be eligible is subscribe to this channel and leave a comment on this video. I will be announcing the winners next week. Good luck. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.